So in this video, I'm gonna be going over how to set up your Perception Neuron version 32 motion suit, and then I'm gonna go ahead and set up the Life Face app with the iClone Relusion. I know it's been a minute since I've made an Unreal Engine iClone Perception Neuron tutorial, but today we're gonna start again. I know people have been waiting for this tutorial, so let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so the first thing we have to do is connect our Perception Neuron motion suit to the Axis Neuron software. Now I'm only doing upper body because for this scene, uh, I'm just gonna be sitting down and delivering a line so we don't need the feet or the legs. Uh, let's go ahead and connect our motion capture to the Axis Neuron by just plugging in the USB that it comes with and then plug it in the actual hub itself all right, so let's go ahead and connect. And I have the little Wi-Fi set up here, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna go ahead and connect. It's really easy. If you have a Wi-Fi, just connect to the Wi-Fi and the setup is so quick. And as you can see, some Canada sensor are detected. Please check if they're mapped. All right, so let's take a look. As you can see, only the upper body is connected. And just like that, I mean, I mean, uh, and the head is also, it's also good to go. I'm moving my head kind of giving a little mini dab right there, a min dab. So that's good. <laughs> With just, I mean, just like that, that is amazing. Let's go ahead and do a calibration. Now this right here is in, um, let's see here, this is for, this is inches here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and select female. And then what I'm gonna do is just calibrate it here. So we're just doing upper, so ready. Okay, then we'll do an A post. T post. All right, so calibrated and all. Now it's not seeing me as sitting down, but that's okay. Um, that should work. And all these right here are the motion that comes preloaded with the software itself. So what I'm gonna do is actually delete all these. All right, so now that's set up. The next thing we have to set up is the facial. Now, you can get the plugin that connects the Perception Neuron suit and the motion capture, and the facial motion capture, I mean, in iClone all together. But I don't have that plugin, so I'm kind of showing you the manual way of doing this. Pretty much the long way and the harder way. So if you go to our iClone, we have this character we created. If you haven't seen this video, go ahead and check it out. Put it in the top right box of the card so you can see how we created this character using Relusion assets. We have this girl right here. And what we're gonna do next is connect our iPhone to iClone. And it's really easy. If you go to plugins, I already have Motion Live plugin. And let me show you that real quick. It's actually pretty confusing at first and it's pretty daunting. So I'm gonna make a video maybe one day and explain to you what these stuff are because the way the packages are, it's pretty confusing for somebody who's kinda just looking into it. It takes a little bit for you to get used to. Uh, so I already have the Motion Life plugin which you're gonna need for the facial and I have the profile for the iPhone right here. So you need these to do what I'm about to do. All right, so let's go ahead and close that. That's why here in the plugins right here, if I go to Motion Live, you're gonna see that. And what I'm gonna do now is turn on my iPhone and I have it connected via uh, Ethernet, duck and Ethernet here because it's faster than Wi-Fi. I have way too much Wi-Fi stuff. So I'm gonna go to Life Face. And as you can see right here, the IP is wrong. So I'm gonna go to Life Face and I'm gonna try my and I'm gonna go ahead and type my IP. Alright guys, so now what we're gonna do is just connect using our IP from the iPhone to the um, iClone here, we're using Motion Life, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on, go ahead and put a check mark right here with the face, inside the face box, and then turn it on, and we are good to go. So if I go press preview, and then press space bar, you're gonna see that um, my, you're gonna see that I'm actually talking. Now I don't know why it's tilted like that. Oh, cause my phone is tilted, shoot. So I have to actually tilt it like this, which is okay as well. I thought I was gonna be able to get away with that. 
All right, so now you see that I just had to tilt my phone um, portrait mode because it wasn't catching it in um, widescreen or, la or landscape. So here we are in Motion Live. And as, like I said earlier, the Motion is not connected in iClone because I don't have the plugin, all right? But you can get that plugin if you have the money. So I'm gonna change this to minimal because I want this to get as much frame per second as possible whenever we are recording because we're gonna be recording in both iClone 7 and Perception Neuron, Axis Neurons. Okay, so let's go ahead and preview this again. Preview, preview. Looks good, looks good. Let's do a test recording real quick just to make sure everything's working. Plus space bar, blah, blah, blah. It's gonna go ahead and stop. And then we're gonna go get our windows. Oh, sorry. Oh, why did I do that? Not full screen. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch it over to all panels. Okay. Oh, because I just, this is probably the first time that I ran that software. So, uh, switched it over to all panels so we can kind of see the timeline down here. And if we go all the way to the left, and I'm gonna, it's so hard to control this thing with my glove on. All right, guys, so here we are. We have our timeline open. And what I'm gonna do is just delete that real quick so we can start, we can start over. So, if I go right here in expressions, you're actually gonna see. Our little talking there so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that so we should be back to square one okay guys so now that we have everything set up we have life face on my phone we have perception neuron and access neuron connected now it's time to record simultaneously so we can then merge them together in post-production or in the computer so let me go ahead and do some stuff here in icon real quick if you click this right here project settings I'm gonna increase this to maybe 3200 frames so that we can kind of extend this here all the way just just you know just to make sure that I have enough room for the lines that I'm delivering and then um, yeah that's that should be good to go and I'm not gonna change anything here for now let's just see leave it by default and see what happens all right so we're gonna go ahead and come to access neuron and press record yes scene one we go to iClone we're gonna go all the way to frame zero, record, space bar, one, two, three, go. Well, listen here, Neil. Your brother's already facing 30 to 45 years. Now you, you have a chance. All we wanna know is if you knew anything, absolutely anything about Jean Grey's body and maybe we can cut you a deal. What do you say? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop that right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and stop it right here. And now we have a motion file and we have an iClone facial file. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this so I don't, you know, jack it up or anything like that. You go right here. And I'm gonna make a new folder, tutorials, however you wanna spell tutorials, it's fine. And then um, let's give this a playback here in iClone. So it's getting pretty good frames per second there. What we are going to do is take the motion, and let's go ahead and play back the motion as well. We're going to take the actual body motion capture and export it here so we can import it into iClone. All right, here you go. There's the clap. 